Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I am here today to share with you an update to both my lip service project pan and my I may be broken but I'm still pretty project, which are lipsticks that I depotted into this Vuisset little palette. So we're going to start with the lip service project and I will leave timestamps down below in case you just want to check out how things are going with this thing. So I, for my lip service, I work on bullet lipsticks, medium, mid range to high end, typically to use a quarter of the bullet. And my goal is to meet that goal on 24 lipsticks this year. I've already met my goal on one that was from the January update. And I also work on one deluxe size lipstick to finish. And this year I rolled in two more lip products that are either one is a stick and one is a drugstore and these end up both ended up being drugstore but I incorporated that into this year's project so the question is am I able to roll out any lipsticks because I'm at my goal this month no I'm sad to say no but I am really close on three so we are going to have a new lip product rolled in so that's very exciting so let me share with you how things are going with these lip products I'm working on. The first one I have is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in Secret Selma. So here is the shade. And this one I really have not used much. It's a matte lipstick. So even if I did use it a bunch, it takes a long time to get like to show progress on these. But there's the shade. It's a beautiful color. I've used it a couple times, but not enough to make a new line. This one is really close. I have the Tom Ford Lip Color Matte in Steel Magnolia. I am, like I said, I'm going to roll in one new lip product. This one I'm hoping to have rolled out by the next update. There is the shade. This one's so nice. I love this color. There we go. Beautiful. Love, love, love. Next, I have the Urban Decay Vice Cream Lipstick in the shade Rapture. This one, I can't remember if it's close or not. I'm going to have to look in my book. There we go. I think this one is close. There's the shade. Beautiful. Love this one. I'm actually wearing this one. No, I'm wearing another lipstick that's close to this. Hold on. Let me, oh, Ziggy may pass out. Ooh. Oh yeah, this one I am very close to hitting my goal. I didn't make good progress on it. So I'm hoping to have this one rolled out before the next update. Next up is Shiseido... Visionary Gel Lipstick and Streaming Mauve. This is the third one I'm close on. Yeah, and I really hadn't had any progress on this prior to this update, but this these go fast. Like if you wear them a good amount of times, you'll see progress on them pretty quick. There's the shade. I'm over halfway to my goal. So I'm hoping these three will be rolled out before the next update. That would be amazing. Next, I have the Burberry lipstick in the shade Rosewood and I don't think I show any progress on this but I have used it it's just not enough to make a line so there's the shade I love this one it's a beautiful color I really have to wear a lot of warm looks with these most of these lip products next I have from MAC the matte lipstick in Soar this is what I'm wearing over another lippy this one has a little bit of progress, but being a matte lipstick, these typically tend to take a little bit longer. Oh, I almost ran into that one. So there's Soar, beautiful color. Love this shade. Next from Giorgio Armani, I have the Rouge de Armani Matte in the shade number 502, which is Kimono. Here is the shade. And I do have some progress on this actually a decent amount of progress i'm about halfway to my goal here's the color beautiful next up i have the lancome l'absolu rouge lipstick in the shade perfect fig this is the cream formula this is one where you tap the top and then the lipstick comes out of the bottom here is the shade and this one i've made some progress on not as much as some of the others but I am about two thirds of the way to my goal on this one. So close. Hopefully this would be a fourth I could get out, but it just kind of depends on what I'm wearing. So those are all of the 
like mid to high end range lipsticks. I also rolled in an essence lipstick. This is the ultra last instant color in the shade number seven, which is undress your lips. I'm wearing this as a base today. I've worn it in a couple of videos. And here is the shade. I love, love, love this formula so much. But I will say this is one of those products that takes a long time to move. So I do have a decent amount of progress, but I feel like I've worn this a ton. So it's going to take a while. And then the last full size lipstick I was working on is one by e.l.f. This is my crayon. This is their, the crayon, I don't know what they call this, in T Rose. Here is the shade. I actually had, actually, I'm, I'm sorry, I take that back. This one has, I mix this with something else. That's more accurate to the shade. So I had really good progress on this prior to rolling into this project. And I have made some progress, but not a ton. I feel like this is another one that's kind of like the essence one where it's just going to take a long time to get, like you have to use it a bunch to get progress on it. And that is how much is left in here. The last lip product I was working on in this project is by Bite Beauty. This is the Amuse Bouche lipstick in the shade Rhubarb. Okay, I didn't take a picture of this because I feel like my notebook is wrong. Because I was like, I didn't really use that very much. And then I measured it and I'm like, well, it looks like I used like a quarter of this lipstick already, which I don't know if that's right. Maybe I'll measure, there's the shade Rhubarb. Maybe I'll measure it based, I didn't see, there's not. Maybe I'll take a new lipstick and see like one that hasn't been used. Not new, new. Okay, here we go. Well, I mean, maybe. Okay. All right. There's way more progress there than I thought there'd be. Okay. So those are the lip products I was working on and how well I'm doing with them. So there's my color palette. Like I said, I did decide to go ahead and roll in a new lipstick and I'm rolling this one in. I recently purchased this, but I feel like it's already broken and I might as well go ahead and get some use on it. So it's by Huda Beauty. This is the cream lipstick in the, in the shade Sweet Cheeks. So I'm just going to try to get some use on this and if it ends up being like a severely broken lipstick and I can't use it, then I'll roll it into the maybe broken section, but I'm kind of going for some more like spring lighter shades. So that's what I'm rolling in. Huda Beauty Sweet Cheeks. Yay. So that is everything for the lip service section. Now let me share with you how things are looking with my little Voisette palette. So I'll link the introduction to this video in the cards. I decided to start working on my broken lipsticks in this format. So this is by the brand Voisette, V-U-E-S-E-T. Is that right? Yeah. And I pur purchased this palette on Beautylish. It was very affordable. And this is what the lipsticks look like that I rolled in here. After I did my intro, I did try to microwave this and... I probably should have shown you what this looked like last month, but I don't care at this point. I tried to microwave this, but I stupidly microwaved it closed. So some lip product seeped out. It's fine. But anyway, as you can see, I'll throw a picture of what this looked like over here in the corner, what it looked like last month. But I do have really good progress on some of these lipsticks. So let me just walk through from the top left over and going across what lipsticks are in here. So I have Kosas Rosewater Lime Crime Hoodie. This one is Kat Von D Magic. Pat McGrath Beautiful Creatures. Lisa Eldridge Velvet Myth. Tom Ford La Piscine. Pat McGrath Realness. Pat McGrath La Val I'm sorry, Valletta. Clinique Pump Plum Pop. Mac Love at First Bite, Mac Plumful, Mac Modesty. Then at the bottom here, I have Essence Brave, Maybelline Pink Flare, NYX Whipped Caviar, and L'Oreal Duchess. I'm sorry, Lorac Duchess. So the ones I think I've used the most are the first three in that top row. This shade here, which again was Mac Modesty. Lorac Duchess, and probably this one here, which is NYX Whipped Caviar. So yeah, those are the ones I think I've used the most for sure. You can see nice divots there. Now, I want to say I 
there's one for sure I didn't touch. Two. I didn't touch Lisa Eldridge of Elliot Myth or Mac Love at First Bite. Those are the two I did not touch for sure. And I may also not have touched Mac Pat McGrath Realness or Valletta. I think everything else got a little bit of love. So I did weigh this when I started. This weighed 23.2 grams. The Voisette the weight of the palette itself is 13.9 grams. So the lipstick weight in here was 9.3 grams. So that's a, like three full size lipsticks. So what this weighs now is 21.9 grams. So I ended up losing 1.3 grams out of this palette. So a third of a lipstick, which is great. Now what I've been doing with this is I have this sitting in this drawer right here in my vanity, which has all of my like lip liners that I'm working on. Well, not all, but most of them. It's got a lipstick I'm trying to hit a goal on that it's not my favorite shade, but it also has all of my turn and burn lippies in here, all my turn and burn samples that I'm working on. And I just have this sitting in here. It just sits here and every day when I do my makeup I pull it out when it's ready it's time to do lipstick and I pull out one of my lip brushes I have several in here like this one is from Zoeva and I just go in and pick a color sometimes I mix it with one of the lips lip products I'm working on in my turn and burn project sometimes it doesn't go very well so I just use something on my own from here but yeah I do I do that pretty much every single day and so that's how I've gotten really good use on this so I'm very happy with that since there are 16 lipsticks in here that I would like to some at some point finish. I'm probably going to wait until I finish a couple of these wells before I refresh it and add lipsticks back in here because there's I don't think any of them that are in this palette were 100% finished like there's still lipstick in the bullet. So anyway, that's how things are going with this. I'm super excited, super excited. I decided to combine that, the update around the, my, I may be broken, but I'm still pretty lipsticks in with this because I didn't think it would warrant its own video. It doesn't really take me that long to talk about it. Anyway, that is going to be my update for this lip service project as well as my, I may be broken, but I'm still pretty project. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.